Hi guys, today we are doing the experiment called Water Powered Club and this is video is used for the science fair of Bidaya International School. I wanted to include my friend Karim. Hi guys, uh, my pleasure to meet you. Today I am so glad that I am with Yad. Today I am so excited to make this, uh, this experiment. Now we will do the experiment. Let's start. We will need two zinc and copper and you see and one salt uh, one yani salt two holders and two cups of water LCD watch and wires one white one one black one what was it, this color red Thank you. It's red. <coughs> I just need a little first. First, we'll start by putting the zinc and copper together on the white wire. The white wire. And the other one on the other side. No, put the on the other side. So look your you're going to uh, circle it around the copper stick and most importantly the copper is positive side and the zinc is the negative and most importantly that we didn't say about the water is that that if we didn't have water but put it salt this won't work because we need water also. The water is the source that brings this the energy. And now we will we'll put, put the, the one one um, copper here and one zinc here. Okay, like this. Like this. And then we uh, we will put it here now and for now. For now. And we have to put the zinc on the red, no, the black, on the black side, side, and, and the, the, the red copper in the, uh, on the, the copper side, on the red side. And as we said, circle it around the stick. There are, there are, I say it's thick because there are actually many kinds of copper and zinc also, like the Statue of Liberty. It was made of copper, but the, because of its many years, it turned into green. Now we will put uh, the zinc uh, next to the copper and, and the copper, the copper next, next to, to the, the zinc. zinc. Because we need one negative, one, one, positive. yes, and one positive. Like this. Then we, then, uh, we will leave it now in a, put it, okay. Hello, camera. The white wire is so short. But we don't, we leave this alone for now. And then we will put the salt. Two cups. And you know how the water is how many milli? 30 milli. And so two, so 30 milli two. So 30. The, uh, multiplied by two equals sixty. And now we will put the salt. Two cups of salt here. I mean, thirty divided, uh, not divided, multiplied, uh, and two cups yeah. in here. What? Two cups on the right, two cups on the left. And now we will stir. And now we will put 
it now in a side and now we have to put these two here and now it works and now the, the clock works it starts at 12 bye bye and now we will tell you what we, we learned, learned from, from the experiment. experiment a battery is a device that stores chemicals energy and converts it to ele electric electric energy the chemicals reaction in a battery involve the flow of electronics from one material <coughs> electrode to an another through an ex external external ex so external circuit and i wanted to tell you something Electrode means the copper and zinc. Now, the balance is the flow of the electrons charge the ions also flow as electrode solitaire that is contact with, with bath electrodes, salted water. Different electrodes and electrodes produce different chemical reactions that affect how battery works, how much energy it can store. Voltage. Now the, wa the water clock has... We forgot what we are saying about. Yeah. Now we are saying the conclusion. The water clock is a great way to tell, to tell the... Yeah. Per, per, Hour and save your money and energy. It also is 